And hello, Aquarius! It's Tori, the host of Guided Intuition, and I'm here to do your monthly spiritual guidance from spirit, your guides, Jesus, Allah, the universe, whatever it is you believe in, Aquarius. This is what they want you to pay attention to in the month of August. So, Aquarius, I do want to let you know, I usually have this whole thing that I say telling you to like, subscribe, comment, I'm friendly, and all of my information down, and in you can find it down in the description box, okay? I know I always say that. Um, but I really feel in the month of August, there is a heart awakening happening to you. Um, and it's really asking you to break out of some kind of mindset, some kind of way of doing things, some kind of habitual behavior pattern or, or a way that you see the, the lens that you see through that is really not helping you. OK, and I'm hearing very loudly from your guides. Your guides are trying to get your attention spirit. Your angels are like, hey, hey, <laughs> I feel like there's something that you're giving your focus to um, that you, you might not be hearing your guides. But I feel like this in the month of August is really a time to get quiet, go within and meditate because there is the divine message about a situation that maybe you've been pondering about a direction okay what's next for me what do I need to do the next step you're going to find it within not without like outside of yourself but within not through anybody else even look even Tori but within you have to go within so I feel like your guys are trying to get your um attention because I do see massive change happening for you um Aquarius in the month of August and this change is getting you to follow your own light what do you desire, Aquarius? We know that it is the new age of Aquarius, honey. Okay? Old structures, old ways of thinking, being, feeling, are falling away. Old relationships, old marriages, okay? If you've been single out of fear, if you've been keeping yourself locked off, if you've been entangled in um, relationship dynamics or things that are not meant for you, listen, the real thing is here. And in order to cultivate it in your life, your guides are asking you in spirit, the divine is asking you to follow your light, Aquarius. All right. That is how you're going to take back your power. I know that it might be scary to just really trust yourself, just to really believe in this dream, just really believe in this vision. Maybe you got to give it up and go another way about it. However, spirit is wanting you to know that these steps that you're being asked to take, you are divinely guided. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> that was a lot. And also, guys, make sure that you're drinking your water, that you're really taking care of your body, okay? Because I feel like um, with all these downloads and these upgrades and these energy shifts, you're vibrating at a higher level. And it can be, if you're ungrounded, it can it can feel like woo-ish, woo-ish, okay? It can feel weird. It can feel off. But I feel like in the month of August, you're really facing a lot of truth or you're being guided to speak your truth. Maybe you've held, held um, something back from a person. For some of you, this is a partner. This is um, either in love or even in business. This is just you six, um, speaking up for yourself. But I feel like whatever has been stuck in your throat chakra in the month of August is going to be released. And it's helping you, Aquarius, to really follow your divine light. It might be uncomfortable, these conversations that you find yourself in, but I promise you, it is for the better, okay? So we have three doors right here that you're going to be walking through in the month of August. Eyes are not deceiving you, Aquarius. I did shift the camera, <laughs> but um, this is just so I can get some more wiggle room. So... I do see you doing that. I do see you switching some things up in the month of August, doing something that is unfamiliar. But I promise you, it is literally taking you to your light. So let's see what doors you're walking through. Anytime I see this door, this is like the door of wisdom, okay? This is like, believe it or not, there's a lot of euphoria behind this door. I feel like this is a door of lessons. So I feel like in the month of August, you can definitely be walking through some doors that um, hold some, it's uncomfortable, because I don't know if you can tell, this wood is ancient, okay? <laughs> so it could be a lesson that you have repetitively took over and over, but I see in the month of August, you walking through that. The sacred lotus, okay? Compassion in action. The, ch um, the chosen tool, I see now the lotus in your spirit's jewel. So I really feel like going within, and the lotus is all about life. The ever un unfolding, okay? And I feel like this is what's happening to you. Things are strategically happening, um, Aquarius, to really get you to open up, for you to really follow your own spiritual 
knowledge, your own spiritual path, your own spiritual wisdom. Maybe you've always done it some kind somebody went by somebody else's way. Be it in um, you know, a spiritual lead, um, a spiritual leader, YouTube, it don't matter. But I feel like in the month of August, it's a time for you to, to cultivate a space, a sacred space for you. You can't walk Tori's journey. You can't walk your parents' journey. You can't walk, you know, Sally Sue down the street. You have to really do what it is that Aquarius desires to do. And I feel like it's kind of it kind of scares you, but this is how you embrace your power. There is an um, opportunity, Aquarius, for you to really embrace your power, for you to take back your power. Maybe you lost it in a relationship. Maybe it was in that broken relationship that, you know, it's over now, but you're still feeling that effect. In this time, we know that the Lion Gate is happening. I'm telling you, massive transformation is happening. Massive, massive, massive. You can literally rewrite your story. Start setting some intentions, okay? Focus on those intentions. What do you want to cultivate in your life when it comes to love, Aquarius? What do you want to cultivate in your life when it comes to career? What do you want to cultivate um, when it comes to your home environment? Okay. And also this is, I've, I have, I've been seeing this door so much. So I already know what it is. This is the door of yes. You are just this. I like to call this my full card. Okay. You are saying yes to life. It says kiss the ground and touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and to fly. I feel like this is what's going on with you. All right. This is what's going on. You're being granted an opportunity. You know, for some of you, this can show up in um, a new apartment, a new place. Even I see like venturing out or like um, moving to a new state. I'm so sorry, Aquarius. I'm literally drinking some water. <laughs> Please forgive me. But I see like you venturing out to a new state. And I'm telling you, there's something with water that you need to connect with. In the month of August, if your spirit's been telling you, like, drink a um, gallon a day, you know, really add in your more, your, um, more water. I really feel like it's going to help balance out your root chakra, your sacral chakra. That's your inner child. That's sacral, honey. That's your creativity. That's your passions. That's your, you know, it's not your solar plex, but I feel like your wheel. That's where everything is. You've cultivated so much stuff in there and I feel like it's time to get um you know that solar plex to move in and even your root chakra that's your foundation your stability so any of those things could really come up in the month of um August you're going to be getting some opportunities just say yes okay because where is it taking you to greener pastures to things that you truly love the three of cups joy a toast to friendship in the afternoon sun. Three cups in happiness, three cheers are done. Celebration is near, I'm telling you. It's here. Whatever has been hard for you, Aquarius, whatever you just felt like, damn, like you can't cut a break. The break is here, baby. It's here. Just keep facing your true north. Follow your light. So the quote that's going to govern your life in the month of August is, I always believe that when, I always believe that when you follow your heart, or your gut, when you really follow the things that feel great to you, you can never lose. Rihanna, you know, that's my boo. I love her. <laughs> but you, you hear that? Aquarius, I always believe that when you follow your heart or your gut, when you really follow the things that feel great to you, you can never lose. You can never lose because it is your truth. How can you lose as something that is your truth? That is your authentic path. That's why whatever is not in your authentic path, be it a relationship, be it in career, be it in um, a spiritual journey, it don't matter. Drop it, Aquarius, and follow your light and watch what comes out. Watch what happens for you. I want to go ahead and just look at your tarot. Yeah, we have the justice right here understanding karmic balance i feel like you're close like i said you're closing out some major cycles for some of you this is a relationship this is a marriage okay or even if you're not with this person i just feel like you're finishing out you're cycling out that karmic um cycle because that person is very much still in your energy okay guys let me drink some water real quick i don't know i'm just thirsty honey okay you really need to drink your water because I feel like your energy is just buzzing. I'm just, bzzz. <laughs> I feel like you're coming into balance with your masculine and feminine energy. Whatever was out of balance, 
clearing this karm this karmic debt that you're paying in the month of August by just speaking. I feel like it's speaking up for yourself. Okay, yeah, because we have the hang one right here. Transition and sacrifice. I feel like you've sacrificed enough. You've kept quiet about something that is not, um, and I keep feeling for some of you it's a relationship or a marriage. And also, I just, or just a way that things is going. Could be family. I just felt like you, you just been in this transition mode. But what spirit wants you to know that the sun will always rise, okay? Abundance, positivity. This is where you're head, headed. Yes, in the middle, it feels uncomfortable, you know? In that transition stage, you know, the hangman. It's uncomfortable, but it's actually getting a different view or a perspective of how to move forward. So this time that is instilled, this is time that you, you might seem as a delayed you know, and, or if everybody else is getting what's going, getting what's theirs and you, you, yours hasn't really quite came in yet, listen, don't, don't worry about that. You're closing out a major cycle right here that is really going to open up some doors for you, okay? So above all, what spirit wants you to know about the month of August, we have the skunk spirit. Know your worth. This is what Aquarius, a lesson that you have been habitually I hope I'm saying that word right, meaning over and over, over and over repeating a lesson. It might show up in different work situations. It might show up in different friendships. It might show up within your family dynamics. It might show up in a, rela a romantic relationship, even a best friend. But at the core of it, this is about knowing your worth. The skunk spirit. We know we love animals, but we know what a skunk does, honey. It'll spray you and it stinks. We we, we have socialized um, skunks with stinkiness. So I feel like it's very important that you don't just tolerate stinkiness in your life, you know? You don't have to accept it, Aquarius. You can always, you don't have to blow up on a person, but you can always remove yourself out of a cycle. And if this is a home situation, get to manifesting, get to script, scripting, get to setting intent. This is real. It's about you knowing your worth because the more that you know your worth, the more that you know your worth, the more that you're going to know your value. The more that you know your value, Aquarius, the more that you know your power. And the more that you know your power, you know that, baby, you are the creator of your reality. There's nothing that you can't do, can't be, can't see, and can't cultivate into this reality. But it is contingent on you, Aquarius, knowing you. And I just feel like your throat chakra is just going to be opening up and there's just this newness about you because you are really getting to understand and knowing your worth. These lessons, these hardships that you've been through, man, they were here to teach you to know your worth, okay? And listen, you got koala spirit. Remember I said koala, something is just something ancient about koala to me. It's something lovey-dovey <laughs> for me. And it says spirit has a plan. And then you have the eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. So I just feel like your faith is being, tr is being, I want to say trusted right now. Tested right now. There we go. Your faith is being tested right now. But above all, spirit wants you to know Spirit has your back. Spirit has a plan. It might not have been the plan that you thought it was, okay? With this hangman, it fell over on the hangman in the middle. But nonetheless, is the plan. And it's the plan of your highest good. Is the plan that's going to be most fruitful, Aquarius. Not what everybody, not, not the plans and the divisions that keep you in this lack of not knowing your worth. Are you playing small? Are you dimming your light or dumbing yourself down? No, I hear playing big. And knowing that the universe is going to catch you, okay? So we're going to take a look and see what's going to be crowning you, the things that you're going to be thinking about in the month of August. These are going to be the things the Spirit is going to be placing on the top of your mind because the more that you recycle these thoughts, the more that you go over these things, the more fulfillment and things you're going to see in your life happen for the better, okay? So we have self-care. I, I hear this, putting you first. Putting your mental well-being first. Putting your spiritual well-being first. And this is just for some of my queries, but that relationship that you have just been putting first and or that family, the family you have just been putting first or whatever you've been putting first, I see it taking a, 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 a seat, a back burner. I can't even, I'm, my, my words getting twisted, Lord. But I see it taking a seat in the back, honey, and you are putting yourself rightly where you belong and that's front and center. 
okay? You're really pouring that self-care in yourself. And I feel like this has been a truth that maybe you've been in denial of, but there's something that has happened that, you know what? I can't be in denial of this anymore. Yeah, get some rest. Really take some time to um, allow yourself just to breathe. When I say rest, just chill. Because sometimes we can just get accustomed to being so busy. Even when we're resting, we're doing things. No, just rest. Just rest. Ask your inner child, you know, to define rest. Because I feel like, and also, some of my Aquarius is this, get some rest and spirit has a plan. Maybe you had a, you had another plan, honey. You were supposed to be doing this or going here or having this, and it didn't fall through. That is because, listen, that wasn't of your highest good. This might be a time where you're in the middle, you're in limbo, and you're like, okay, what's next? Spirit has your back. We also have body changes. So I feel like this could be you like in, so this could be health wise for some of my Aquarius taking a look and just seeing, you know, what kind of foods you're putting in your body, you know, exercising because the sacral chakra and the solar plex, that's how your solar plex is how you manifest. It's how you bring those things out of the 5D and into the, um, the 3D. But you know, it's time to, you know, get, get a little exercising pan, plan, go walking, running. You just need to get that solar plex to spinning. Okay. And lastly, we have relationship dynamics. And I really feel like for some of you, there is just a relationship dynamic that is a hot mess for some it's family for some it's a relationship it's a it's a living environment living environment something that you're doing over and over Aquarius and I just feel like there is a need um that is probably has taken a toll on your mind you know that's why you can't really get any rest you know it's probably stressing you out you're probably over analyzing overthinking over worrying I see that coming to an end but it's about knowing your worth all right and kicking those to the curve <laughs> Who needs to be in the curve? And that's period. Who, need, who needs to time out? You need to evaluate, Aquarius. Who needs to time out? Somebody needs to time out, honey. Somebody needs, somebody needs to time out. And when I say that, I mean you need to take somebody like, listen, this is not what we're doing, okay? We're we not doing this. We're not doing this. Because let me tell you something, Aquarius. You are so beautiful. You're so gorgeous. You are so handsome. Your light is so amazing. If you find yourself in a relationship that is unpleasing to you, if you find yourself in someone where someone does not, where someone is, because I feel like it's, it's toxic, okay? It's some repetitive toxic behavior. And I just feel like there's a need for you to remove yourself out of that so you can put you back front and center, okay? What's meant for you will always come back to you. You got to know that. You got to believe that. You got to know that with every fiber within your heart, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what's going on with relationships. I have a couple of cards. I'm going to place them down, okay? I got so much. I know where to start. <laughs> so we're going to just start right here. So um, for some of my Aquarius, I feel like there's a reconciliation on the horizon for you, okay? Someone from your past is returning, Um and Spirit is saying, stay optimistic about your love life. Now, um, there is a situation I feel like we have romantic feelings right here. Romantic feelings. But also we got deception. And I feel like there's there's somebody that wants to come back around. You know, that maybe you were staying open to this connection or you were, you were playing with giving this connection another chance. Um, and you really feel towards this person. There is a deep, you know romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring there is real feelings here there ill there is real love here um we also got hurt renewal love and trust okay so there is an opportunity to reconnect with somebody um but i feel like we also got seduction, okay? Sense of, um sensitivity, attraction, lust. We also got smooth operator, okay? Cunning, charisma, sneaky, that whole player energy. And we got my apology, remorse, forgiveness, olive branch. So somebody in your past where you know they had hurt you, Aquarius, okay? And listen, I don't know your story. I don't know your story, okay? <laughs> when I say I don't know your story, I mean you be like Tori, take them back. All I'm saying there is a connection. There is a um opportunity to reconnect 
with a um or you're you're someone's contemplating re reconnecting with you Aquarius or you reconnecting with somebody but somebody's coming back around to offer a apology um you know this was a person who played games who was very you know a player energy smooth operator seduction very lustful you guys could have found yourself in an entanglement as my new word is <laughs> or like a situationship or for some of you this was a marriage and they cheated and i feel like there's there is wanting to renew you know, there's a renewal here. There is real love here. It is trust. My apology. But the only thing that's bothering me is someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. We also have the tower card. We have the three of pentacles. We have the, th um, the, the queen of cups emotions here. Like I said, they're coming back around whatever. And this was a relationship that like, honey, I feel like it hurt. It really did hurt because the tower is here. It was a, it was hard and maybe you rebuilt yourself up, um, Aquarius or, you know, you're open to a renewal and this person is going to come back around and want to build with you and offer genuine emotions. But the thing is they cannot offer you commitment. That's the deception. We got the three of pentacles and the three of swords. You know, they might come in as, you know, I'm ready to work. I'm ready to put it all in. I'm ready to do this, Aquarius. I'm ready. They're showing you the emotions. They're saying all of these things, you know, however, down the line and you, you, whoever you found yourself in this repetitive situation with this person, it always leads back here. Okay. And this three of swords and we got the eight of swords and I feel like it, um, you're being guided to free yourself from this karmic um, situation. And this is what I want to tell you. If you are not in a relationship or if this was a person that was a long time ago, in order for the new love to come in, you have to clear this cycle. You have to core cut on this energy because it's very much present in your, um, in your aura. Now, this is why I want to say this, Aquarius, because I recently um, did this within myself. There was an um, there was an ex like three years ago, honey. However, this person kept me in a repetitive, you know, that you know that that cycle, honey, <laughs> that cycle. This is before I, um, you know, loved myself. And even after, you know, I tried to give this person a benefit of the doubt, but I already seen that. Um, you know, they weren't going to do it. They were going to come around and say this, but you know, they were not going to do this, um, Aquarius. So what happened is I had just went ahead and moved away from this person. But the thing is that energy was still very present in my aura field. I never dealt with that pain. So what happened is it was, it was blocking me from any new connections, new things coming in. If you feel like love is on the brink for you, but for whatever reason, new relationships cannot come in. You're like, what's going on? Like I, I'm single. I know I'm open. I'm not available. You need to clear out this past karma because it's still coming up very clear. How do you do that cord cut? Um, for me, I like to beat the hell out of my pillow. What does that mean? Sometimes we don't allow ourselves to feel all of our emotions. We keep it bottled up. So that's energy being stored. So you have to relive that moment. And you have to, in the moment that you're reliving that moment, the, oh my God, when you're reliving, oh my God, when you are reliving that moment, get a pillow, put on an empowering song. My um my song is, Car um, um, not Kelly, what is it? Katy Perry, Katy Perry. I can't think of it right now, but oh my God, like Katy Perry has all the, what is it? Dang. I don't know, but Katy Perry has a lot of inspirational songs that will get you there in that moment. And you just have to beat the hell out of that pillow. Scream if you have to, you have to allow that energy that you pill that you, that you, um, put place down that you've been holding on to, like that you didn't tell that person that you didn't, um, validate yourself in that time you have to allow that energy to leave and once you do that that's going to free yourself that's going to free you okay and then the love that is truly that you feel this renewal of love that's going to be trusting not the past hurt not none of this it's going to be able to come in okay because that's what i'm seeing for some of my um Aquarius, you have to move away from that old karma. And I was like, dang, I didn't even realize that. Yes, it will block any kind of new love from, um, from coming in until you clear that pattern out. All right. So 
the thing that spirit wants you to know that will bring you more fulfillment in the month of August, the more that you apply these things to your life, we have acceptance. I am learning to accept um, things that I cannot change. Also, we have imagination. Listen, I'm seeing that you're embracing your creativity. You're embracing your inner child. Go back to what makes you happy. Okay. Also with this imagination, scripting the life that you truly desire. And listen, don't do, um, don't let your past hold you back. And going back to what I said in that relationship, you can very much have been out that relationship for 10 years. But if that energy is still very present, if you never dealt with those emotions, if you stuffed it down and say, you know what, that's fine. You had one crying left and alone, then you have to allow that um, to, to come up because you have here. Don't let your past hold you back because you have amazing opportunities coming in in love and career and in some stable, something stable in your home life is what I'm seeing. And the word that spirit wants you to keep at the forefront of your mind, Aquarius, in the month of August is nourishing. Choose to nourish the connections that nourish you. When it comes to the words that you speak about yourself, about your surroundings, make sure that it's uplifting you. Make sure that it's nourishing you. If you go the nourishing way, if you show compassion, even if somebody don't deserve it, you better believe that's good karma coming back your way. Okay, so I love you guys so freaking much. I hope that this brought you some clarity and some understanding. It was such an honor to read this for you, Aquarius. I will catch you on my channel. Take care. Confident.